Hey, good morning, friends. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. Sunday morning, about a quarter to 7 a.m. Getting ready for church. Gotta get shaved up. Get silky smooth. Hope everybody had a great week. Mine was a, mine was a week, you know. Back to work after the holidays. Did the things and the stuff and the things. So, uh, first things first. Cheers, my friends. Happy New Year. Uh, Coffee is brought to you by PAA. All right, so this is the uh, beginning of the boring shaves for 2019. Nothing new, 19 is the goal. And uh, this is what we're using. Today, we're going to be using the Leah stick. I'm going to use this until it's gone. I've already been using <coughs> the Bay Rum uh, combination, Colonel Conk and PAA Pineapple Bay Rum. I've been using that through the week. So this week, we're going to do the Leah stick. Second time using this ever. I like it. It's got a nice clean scent. It's a good lather. Nothing fancy, but uh, it gets the job done. For the shaver, we'll be using the uh, Aluma Hawk version 2.0 by Razor Rock. Feather Professional second shave on there. Uh, Wet Shave Club Boar Brush. I'm gonna finish it off with a little Thayer's, a little Nivea Men's. And then something that I got for Christmas the Brute Blue. This stuff is discontinued. This is actually the uh, spray-on cologne. I think it's similar to the old blue aftershave, but I'm not sure. But this is discontinued, the blue stuff. And uh, my old man got me this little sample for Christmas. So very cool. I don't know where he found it, but thanks a lot, Pops. All right, let's get shaving. So a little stick, a little bit of water. So yeah. 2019, the first week of 2019. Hope everybody's doing well. Nothing super exciting on my end. Just like I said, back to work. Did the work. Today is going to be a little bit of a busy day for me. It's typical church stuff. We are having a uh, guest speaker come in today and a guest uh, music group come in to do some music for us. I guess some people will call it a revival meeting. Um... But after church this afternoon, I think that's going to be enough. I've got to rush off. A coworker of mine's mother, grandmother, passed away this past week. So her New Year's is not off to a good start. And uh, I'm going to go pay my respects. I don't typically go to funerals. I swore them off in uh, 2007. After a good buddy of mine passed away from cancer, I swore off funerals after we buried him. I just got tired of burying friends. You go to more, it seems like I've been to more funerals in my life than weddings. So I swore them off. This will be the first funeral I've gone to since 2007. So. But this is one of my cl very close co-workers. So I want to go support her. She's had a rough year. Recently divorced. And uh, I wouldn't... I hadn't planned on going. But we've been texting back and forth throughout the course of the week. I've been checking in on her, see how she's doing. And she texted me the details of the funeral and the viewing and whatnot. So I figured that was kind of an invitation. So I figured I'll go. It's the right thing to do. Yeah. So rush out of church this afternoon and go do that. And then uh, rush back for the evening service. So, all right. There's a beautiful lather. I like this Leah. Like I said, bog standard soap. Spanish, I believe. Spanish soap. Maybe. I may be wrong. I guess I could look at the uh, packaging. Uh, Spain. Yes. So from Spain. Beautiful lather. Probably put a little bunch on my face, but that's okay.
How's everybody doing with their resolutions or goals? So far, so good for mine. My goal to uh, be more involved with people is good. I went yesterday, got a chance to hang out with my cousin and her kids who I don't see nearly enough. Um, he too, unfortunately, is also recently divorced. So we met up for lunch, took the kids, we wandered around one of the biggest Asian supermarkets in the area, which her kids, uh, what, 15 and 11, thought were pretty interesting. They've never been to such a big kind of a supermarket with live, you know, seafood and just all kinds of unusual things that you don't get at the typical American supermarket. So we had a blast. We went and had lunch, hung out together. It was good. They kind of live out in the uh, more urban, or more, more um, not urban, more rural suburbs of Austin, um, in the town where we grew up, where I grew up anyway. So coming into the, the big city is an adventure for her, uh, her and her children. So it was fun. Ate at a nice, Thai restaurant, like I said, wandered around the uh, wandered around the supermarket, saw the you know you can buy live fish and they'll butcher them there. And then of course there are many Asian delicacies that we don't really eat here in the states. Chicken feet and ducks feet and things like that. So. It was uh, quite an uh, quite an experience for her girls, so it was good. All right, first pass, fantastic. <laughs> the beard's coming in nicely. I don't even hardly need to go back to the brush for the second pass. But I will, just because I loaded it. Mm -hmm. So, let's see, what else? That's it, man. Haven't had a chance to sit down and watch a lot of shaving videos. I saw that Trevor did like a shotgun blast one day last week, week before last, somewhere. Um, <laughs> uploaded a... Just a handful of videos. Haven't had a chance to check out many of them. I think I watched one. I don't even remember which one it was, to be quite honest. Uh, so Johnny did a, has a couple out. Frank's got a couple out. Mati's got a couple out. So Cal Shaves got the new uh, Cremo set. I saw. I haven't had a chance to watch it though. So um, I didn't know. I didn't even know that Cremo set was a thing. I had seen at my local grocery or not grocery store, but big box shop. Cremo makes colognes. They had a. Uh, they had like uh, eau de toilette. Oud. Oud. However you say that. EDT sets, different flavors that came with uh, um, like beer, hair, beer bombs or hair pomades or something like that. Not shaving stuff, just the, the EDT and something else. Interesting. Yeah, I see some blood. I nicked myself. Must have caught my nose or something up there. 
All right, last pass on the face. We're just moving along. Yep, cut the corner of my nose. That's going to be a mess. Man, I forgot how nice a shaver this Razor Rock Hawk is. It's good. It's one of those razors that I, I like the way it shaves. It always gives me a good shave, except for the catching the nose thing. But because it lives in its box, in my cabinet full of garbage, it gets forgotten about. And then it's always a pleasant surprise when I pull it out and have a great shave with it. So I guess that's a good thing. Whoa, 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 camera's trying to fall. Did I just cut myself? I'm trying to catch the camera. See my little safety me oh, spoke too soon. I thought was, my safety measures almost worked. They held it up for the first go, but not the second. Let's see. But held it up enough that I could catch it instead of just having it tumble away so yay safety measures I guess that's my camera holders way of telling me I need to hurry up so you may ask or probably not but hey it's earlier than my normal shaves so one of my New Year's goals is to wake up earlier so that I could be less rushed in the morning to do my devotions and exercise and once my back heals up. And uh, so even on the weekends, I'm waking up around 5, 5.15, 5.30, sometime before 6. During the week, I wake up at 5 o'clock. On the weekends, I sleep in for an extra, you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. So far, so good. I'm having a chance to get the shave done. It'll be completely uploaded by the time I leave for church. Um, I'm going to, uh, I've got two roasts in the slow cookers. One of them is for church today, and the other one's going to be my meal prep for the week. The first one is a nice Angus roast beef with potatoes, carrots, celery, onions, marinated in uh, seasoning overnight, browned it in a pan, chucked it in the crock pot, the slow cooker with grip of onions and celeries and whatnot, carrots, red and yellow potatoes. So that should be delicious. Then the second roast is a pork shoulder. Just gonna sort this nick out. Ah, yeah. The second roast is a pork shoulder that I'm slow cooking with yams and sauerkraut. Two different types of sauerkraut. Um, Bavarian sauerkraut. And then the local grocery store makes a uh, raw sauerkraut with um, sriracha. So it's kind of spicy. So that will be slow cooked all day. And then I'll divvy that up and that'll be one of my meals for the week. Really kind of excited about that. All right, do we have enough? Leah in the brush. No. So I'm going to do a little Leah on the melon.
I think it's the first time I've done a shave stick on my head like this, so it may or may not work. Let's see. No reason why it wouldn't, and like a champ. I've actually got quite a bit of growth on my head. I don't remember the last time I shaved my head. Early in the week, I think. So I probably should have trimmed it with the trimmers this morning. So it may be a little bit of a rough shave. That's okay, though. Still trying to work off a little bit of the holiday bloat. You know, I said I hit all my goals for, or my weight loss goals for 2017, and I did. Over the holidays, I put on about, I don't know, a little less than 10 pounds, I think. Seven, eight, something like that. So, still working to get rid of that. No big deal. I'm not, I know what to do. I just, it's a matter of doing it. I did pretty good over the week, but dining out, you know, yesterday with my cousin, can't control how much sodium is in stuff and whatnot, so I'm sure part of it is just part of it is still holiday bloat, part of it is probably salt water retention from restaurant eating, restaurant dining, whatever. But it'll be alright. I'll get those 52 pounds off this year, no problem. Well, I'm not gonna say no problem, it's gonna be some work. Because statistically, the heavier you are, the faster you lose weight because it's a bigger change to your body and any exercise or movement that you do is more effort. But as you lose weight, less effort on your body, so you burn less calories, blah, 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 blah. So, it's all good, man. We'll get it all sorted out. I'm kind of quiet, guys. Not much else to say. Okay. Plenty of lather still in the brush. So we'll go for the second pass with lava. With lava! <laughs> so I was thinking about the stuff that I chose to work through this year for the first part of the year. And you know, it's just, to me, it seems like it's kind of bog standard, nothing exciting stuff, you know, Parasso Green or C.O. Bigelow, Aaliyah Stick, 
and then the bay rum puck from Colonel Honk. I guess the uh, PAA pineapple pay bay rum is a little bit posh, you know. But I'm kind of the the thought behind the behind it was is just to use some stuff that has been in my den for a while. I mean. That Leah stick's probably been in my den for two years, and I think the first time I used it was in November. I think I got it for Christmas of 15 or 16, maybe, or 16 or 17, something like that, somewhere around there. And the first time I used it was uh, November this past year, 2018. So, I mean, so just trying to work through some of my stuff that's been in the den for the longest. The PAA Bay Rum um, hasn't been in my den too terribly long, maybe two years, year and a half, a year maybe, Christmas last year, Christmas 17 is when I ordered it. But I wanna empty out that dish, so that's the reason I chose that. Um, the Colonel Conk was one of the first soaps that I bought when I started wet shaving. It was in that, that four pack that everybody I think orders off of Amazon when they first start wet shaving and realizes that the uh, the stuff from the supermarket that you get in the kit with the Vanderhagen is not bad, but there's better stuff out there. And then that's, <laughs> at least a lot of guys, that was the next step because you haven't, when you're new, you know, you haven't, or most folks haven't learned about the artisans and the quality and the this and the that. So they're just still shopping. At least I was. Still shopping based on price and just curiosity and four pucks for 13 or 14 dollars heck of a bargain and that's the last one from that set so wear that one out and then once i work through one of these i'm gonna do one of my artisan soaps something a little not so bog standard something a little nicer but uh, I don't, know. I don't know what I'm rambling about. I'm just rambling. Had that thought last night. Alright. Beautiful. Uh, that, my friends, is a fantastic shape. Always got to get the fat, the hair out of the fat roll. Back there, behind the ears. Always a little tricky to get all the little stragglers back there too. All right, that's beautiful shave. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic, all right, a sip of coffee here. Oh my gosh, I dropped my styptic and it didn't break. That's a miracle. Oh, did you hear my knee crack? <laughs> All right, so. For to finish, do a little Humphreys or Witch Hazel. Is it Humphreys? Thayers. Fantastic. You know what? I don't even think I need. I don't even think I need to put on any of that Nivea. It may just be overkill. Well, friends, I'm gonna do a little bit of this. I don't know how this compares to the brute blue aftershave. I'll tell you what, I like it. Uh, so, Pops, if you ever see this, probably not. Thank you very much. All right, guys and gals, that's what I got for today. Hope you have a great week. Whew. Maybe two, maybe three sprays was too much. Good thing I got like four hours before I got to church. Anyway, thank you guys and gals.
for spending some time with me. Hope you enjoyed it because I know I did. Super silky smooth Sunday shave. Have a great day. Have a great week. Go spend some time with friends and family. Really important. I hope you're uh, moving forward in your goals if you made any. And uh, I'll see you next time. Hope you have some great shaves. God bless. Have a great day.